Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Chiron transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. Now, on average, Chiron will traverse a house for approximately four years. However, if your house size is a little bit larger than average, then Chiron will be in there for a little bit of a longer duration. If your house size is a little bit smaller than average, then Chiron will be in there for a little bit of a shorter period. Well, anyway, people, the first thing I'll look at, when Chiron transits one's natal fifth house, this could be a period where you might experience some sadness, some despondency, emotional wounds, perhaps in matters connected with children, uh, with romance, perhaps with expressing fun and enjoyment, your creative expression. Maybe others may be undermining your creative expression or for whatever reason, you may lack the self-assuredness and confidence and, and maybe not always be cognizant of your creative ability. This could be a time too where Perhaps you experience some kind of emotional wounds during uh, maybe in a romantic period or, or connection with some love you have or had. And, but at the same time, when you have this transit, keep in mind that Chiron is the wounded healer. It can represent areas in life where we go through some emotional suffering, sometimes physical but it could also reflect what we can do for others, what we can't do for ourselves often. So when you have this transit, you might be the, the really that advice, the quintessential love advisor, so to speak, and be able to give abundance of suggestions and advice in matters uh, connected with love for others, how to reconcile perhaps a broken, a lover relationship, maybe perhaps uh, reconciling uh, situations with children that aren't positive, perhaps uh, if you have friends that have situation with children that are contentious, maybe you could help them out. But the problem is if you're having, say, you're in a situation where you have children, you might have difficulty doing so for yourself and finding the reconciliation between you and them. In some cases, this could represent some physical wounds, I believe. I mean, you have, it may not be the first house, but this is, uh, fifth house does, is associated with children. Could maybe a child be going in for some surgery? Maybe the, maybe the child experiences uh, some kind of uh, strong injury, perhaps, during this time. I mean, in most cases, this probably wouldn't happen, but keep in mind that this is Chiron. It is transiting the fifth house, so it can increase that propensity a little bit. And also, the fifth house is also about uh, pregnancy. So, for women, and if you are pregnant during this time, I think it could increase the chance, maybe, of a C-section birth, perhaps, a little by a little bit marginally anyway. Perhaps there might be a little bit more difficulty in the pregnancy during this time on average, I, I think. So those are some things to look at as far as this transit goes. And also keep in mind, we look at the, the fifth house. It's about fun and leisure, our enjoyment. And this could be something where you might even have difficulty maybe in expressing your own childlike side, that whimsical, capricious side. You might encourage others very strongly to do so and help others find fun and enjoyment in their life, have others express themselves creatively, but you might feel prohibited in doing so. You might have some strong difficulty doing this during this transit by Chiron to your fifth house. When you have this transit, it could also be about, we look at the fifth house and it's also associated with speculation. So this does increase the chance a little bit to have some kind of loss through speculation, through gambling, for instance, maybe through putting, maybe making bad decisions with the stock market, investing in the wrong things, perhaps 
So those are, in, but the thing is, on the other side of the coin, you might be able to help others as far as speculative ventures go. And you might be able to give some very solid advice to those people, but for whatever reason, maybe during this transit, when you try to do so for yourself, you could have tremendous difficulty, perhaps. And this is also about, could be about getting some attention in the fifth house and because keep in mind the fifth house does correspond with Leo and this could be a period when you have this transit where you might feel the strong need to have some kind of attention or get some accolades or some recognition and really and you might really have strong difficulty doing so you might be able to have encourage others to do things to get that attention that they're seeking during this transit for something, but you could have problems doing so yourself. Well, anyway, people, it's also important to look at the aspects, if any, that are made by this transit to your natal planets and points as this could impact the transit. Now, let's say, for example, that transiting Chiron is making a square in conjunct or opposition to your natal Neptune. Well, this could be a period perhaps where, you, where there might be some emotional wounds that you're experiencing might conflict perhaps with matters uh, connected with spirituality or maybe even things in the metaphysical that you're trying to attain. And being in the fifth house, this could be tied in perhaps to children and also maybe perhaps connected with love and romance. Let's take another example. Let's say that transiting Chiron is making a conjunction to your natal Pluto. Well, this might indicate you may have the need to help and heal others through some kind of transformation and regeneration. And being in the fifth house, this might be tied in perhaps to uh, matters connected with love and enjoyment. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Chiron transiting the fifth house in a natal chart. And stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Chiron transiting the sixth house in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.